Once again, GPN brings you the top stories from your backyard and from around the globe. War. The evil Tan Army is on the move again. Led by General Plastro, the elite Tan Guard are massing in several areas on the outskirts of Green Territory. None of the preliminary Green Patrols have returned. The threat of Tan invasion looms large. Top Secret. Top Secret video acquired by GPN shows the new Green Alpha Wolf Chopper Battalion preparing to mobilize. Their preparation is overseen personally by Colonel Grimm, the leader of the Green Forces. Sarge and the rest of Sarge's heroes are on call 24 hours a day, ready to do anything necessary to assist the Alpha Wolf Battalion in putting a halt to the Tan Menace. Piloting our finest choppers are men like Captain William Blade. His record speaks for itself. Not only is he a top graduate from our secret helicopter pilot school, but he is pretty handsome as well. Hey, ladies. Invasion. Tan forces are on the move. Their ultimate destination at this time is unknown. But whether it is right here in our own backyard or in a strange foreign land, the pilots of the Alpha Wolf Battalion stand at the ready. Together, men like Captain and Sarge are ready to take on any challenge the Tan Army might present in their quest for world domination. The stakes have been raised and the Green Army is prepared to take the battle to new heights. The time has come for Army Men Air Attack. Hey, Henry. McCain say we might get rain. His big toe must be twitching. Anyone seen my boys? Over here, Tess. A village at peace. But not for long. For tonight brings the scourge, the terror, and the madness of the horde known as the Legion of the Fallen. They are the heralds of death who attack by night, ravaging town after town with no mercy. Attack! They are sent by Necros, master of the dead. Tales call him the greatest of all necromancers, raising his legions from the grave, but cursed with an inability to die himself. Except tonight, they have missed one, Drake. For 20 years, Drake has battled these monsters becoming legend even among his enemies. Ever vigilant, he watches like a panther, waiting for that one moment, that opening. The scar! It's him! It's back to the grave for you. The master wants this one.
of Alcatraz! All right. Got him on the run. Let's finish it. Here and now. It is time to unleash the power of the edge. Brandon, obey me. Burn bright. Burn the whole world like a disciple. This is too easy. Something's wrong. Brandon. Brandon, stop. Please, we're your parents. Don't listen to her. Brandon, we are one. Destroy them. Concentrate. Our own edge power is the only way to save Brandon. Brandon, Sonny, can you feel our lives? Stop this, Brandon. Stop killing, son. Come back to us. Use the edge for life, not death. Now, we finish it. It has been five years since the apocalypse. Five years in hell. A super virus killed all but a handful of the Earth's population of females. Soon whole nations were fighting over the few women that survived. Once they started using nukes, the world we used to know was gone. I am Griffin, Battle Lord, a title earned in blood. I've seen a thousand tanks burn, but even the ruler in hell tires of the flame. I have a son. My Queen Lord Madison and I have a dream for young Brandon to keep our boy from the ways of war. Ah, yes. The perfect family. Perfect for my experiment. <laughs> An edge-empowered male mated with a female of equal power. Fools! They have no idea what they have wrought. I must have him.
to me. Get away from him! <laughs> you are pathetic! Grab Brandon and let's go. The whole city is in flames. He will be mine. Oh, yes. He belongs to me. that took our city. Cassandra. So that's her name. She must rule three quarters of America. And she has bases in Europe, too. This machine's taken a lot of damage. Quick, zoom in on our location. What's that arrow? Oh, this is horrible. Cassandra's taking people prisoner and using them for some kind of experiments. We have to shut her operation down for the sake of what's left of the world. I know it was Cassandra. She was the one who took our son! But the shelter door was blown out from the inside. It's as if Brandon himself used some kind of incredible power. Where has she taken him? There's only one place left. And we're going to find Brandon if we have to crush every tank Cassandra can throw at us. This is DNA data. Griffin. Gene mapping. For what? I don't know. She was searching for one particular sequence. She created the viruses. Cassandra caused the apocalypse. But why? She used the virus to cause massive, deadly genetic mutation. The women that survived all had the edge, including me. She must have wanted to create a whole new world where women rule. But what about all the men? I can see why she didn't want to kill them all off. But how do we fit into her insane experiment? Brandon! This whole thing! The apocalypse, the war, it was all to create... Oh no! Brandon! She needs his DNA to give her the ultimate edge power! I am going to rip out her icy cold heart. What have we got? Well, this must be part of the mission control system. That looks like the symbol for the virus. It was launched by a satellite that spread it over the entire globe. Well, at least now she won't be able to pull that trick again. soldier ever won a war by melting for his country. He won it by making the tan soldier melt for his country. Now, some of you may have heard that this war is unwinnable. 
that the Tan Army has developed amazing weapons of destruction. That going up against them is suicide. Well, I say that's a load of hooey. Believe me, you know exactly what to do when you step into a puddle of melted plastic that used to be your best friend. Now I'm not gonna lie and tell you this will be easy. They've got us outgunned and outnumbered 50 to one. <laughs> Sounds like good odds to me. The ten are the enemy. Wade into them. Melt their plastic. War is not black and white. It is green and ten. All right then. That's all I gotta say. Oh, and one more thing. I want you boys to know that I'll be proud to lead you to victory.